Hello everybody, and welcome to the fourth episode of Mass Effect. So, let me see here. Right. So, I believe that means we need to... Oh, right. Apparently I'm not a commanding officer right now. So yes, to Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3, where you are the commanding officer. Apparently I have to go up to Joker and tell him. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Joker, we haven't even hit the relay point. Never mind, I don't know where I was going with that. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying, you need firepower, too. Look at that monster! Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. This is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. <sighs> so, a lot of this game will revolve around exploration. So, I guess you guys let me know in the comments if you want to see me explore most of the entire galaxy. This or... is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Um... Yeah, well... Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. How kind. And that's why I hate politicians. Yeah, I'm with you on that, Ashley. Okay, fortunately, I have memorized most of the citadel, so I know exactly where I'm supposed to go. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. No. You'll never take me alive! Okay. Let's just 
cheat a little bit. Well, it's not cheating, really. It's basically teleporting, to be perfectly honest. Okay. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Huh. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Your investigation is over, Garrus. It's Garrus. Hello, sir. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Yes, I know who you are. What did you find? Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a spectre. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Nope, they won't. I'm going to have to decide if I let the Council die at the end, or if I save them. I suppose if it comes down to it, I'd rather save all my crew than try to save the Council. Really do not like the council in Mass Effect. But that was done on purpose. You're not supposed to like the council in these games. Unless you're like really weird. <laughs> uh, I suppose that's not very fair. Okay. I was just marking that. The hearing's already started. Come on. Yes, yes, whatever. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. Not really. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. That was you, not me. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson, he's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? <sighs> How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. You'll regret it. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. I'll get you, Seren. This meeting Mark is adjourned. I would. Not through with you yet. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Seren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Seren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. How do you know him? Tell me about this history between you and Sarah. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. <laughs> Things went bad. Real bad. Excuse me. We shouldn't talk about this here. 
but I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. Now what? What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I'll talk to Any him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Fair enough, but... You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. All Harkin's right. probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Any other leads? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Sarah. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys yeah. and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Right. Okay. Um, dum -da -dum -da -dum. There we go. So, um, one thing I've really liked about that guy's up to something. Ash, the one over by the keeper. Be quiet, please, just for a minute. Um, so Mass Effect, I honestly think it is far more story driven than the. Uh, sequels. Um, like you spend a lot of the game going through cut scenes and, you know, picking up bits of story. Um, I want to move on. It's just standing there. Going to start shooting if people don't shut their mouth. What are you doing? What? Oh no, I wasn't. Never mind. Ahem. <clears throat> Um, yes, I is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. Mm, I'd like to do enough. it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Yeah. Let's see, I can try to complete this. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. Kind of like the so long, and good luck with the scanning. But then Morden is just like really awesome. Can't wait to show you guys more. Um, let's see. There we go. Off we go. Trying to keep the exploring short. But, like I said, if you guys want to have me put all the recording. That's him. In my uh, video, all the exploring I do in my videos, let me know in the comments. Wait a minute, Is, what am I doing with my pistol? Where's my assault rifle? Boom. 
Those were Saren's men. Clear. Yes, thank you, Ashley. I think we've established that. Um, let's see. Here. Back off, Rex. Piss told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Krogan are pretty cool, too. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. He was actually being pretty polite for a Krogan. You there. Alliance military. I could have been a marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Great, 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 great. My life. Uh, I need information. Target, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian C-Sec officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Um, not my concern. I just need to know where Garrus is. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. That's not what Just I'm tell here. me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. As I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it. Okay, well, let's get moving. And <laughs> Why didn't the... Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a specter? Maybe it's not true. Hawkins an ass. Bet he's just messing with our heads. You're probably right. Yeah, I'm kind of with Caden on that. Oh, never thought I'd say that. <laughs> Sorry, I don't really like Caden very much, to be honest. All right, take me to the med clinic. See what day. Going to try to stay out of the clubs and such. They're not exactly a nice place in this game. I didn't tell anyone. I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut, or we'll... who are you? Let her go. Oh, nice shot, guys. Engaging target. Fail. Keep me covered. Going to sneak around. Come on. Come on out, boys. Trying to remember how I throw a grenade. Hmm. Wait, I don't think I have grenades. That's a bit of a problem. Huh. Got a little cameo there. Hmm. It's actually a very interesting game. You can actually get them if you shoot an exposed body, but it's easier said than done, to be honest. Boom. Sorted. Okay. Area secured. Excuse me. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Yes. Well. Glad I could help. Dr. Michelle. Are you hurt? Another cameo? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Who were those men? Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. 
quarry. What quarry? A few days ago, a quarry came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Come on. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Really? Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. <laughs> Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made Sorry. him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She really? must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Alright, fine. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we, uh... Ran into yeah, him. we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Okay. Move out. So, um, well, nobody likes Caden. Like, seriously, nobody likes Caden. Okay, um, well, that concludes, uh, episode four of Mass Effect, um, so, let me see here, I should tell you, I have figured out what I'm going to be doing for a f Friday series, so, stay tuned for that tomorrow, um, also, let me know down in the comments if you want me to a do a exploration off camera, or if you'd rather see me do it on camera, whichever doesn't matter to me. And yeah, as always, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments, and I will see you tomorrow for my new series for Friday. Bye.